back in 1999 when Mike and Tanya Milky founded Noble Street. Their primary motivation at that time was they wanted to create a school that was distraction free. Where students could come to school and learn and avoid the distractions that they had seen in prior schools. And Mike and Tanya did that with Noble Street. ITW is the next evolution of Noble. We now want our students to graduate college with STEM degrees. STEM meaning science, technology, engineering, and math. Degrees that are in demand. Here at Spear Academy, we're greatly encouraged to go to college and graduate with a STEM degree. I really wanted STEM so I could stand out later on in life. Just being here, it's such a, a vibrant, busy, happening place. And really, my husband was like that. Busy, happy man. David was passionate about success, passionate about doing the right thing. That kind of spirit I can feel here. We spent quite a bit of time with Noble looking for sites that could take a new campus, something of this size. Belmont Cragen has a fairly dense population and there seemed to be a very strong need for new high school here in this neighborhood. I had known about Rubenstein Lumber and I said maybe this might fit. That's exactly how it started. Wheeler Kearns Architects has worked on almost all of Noble's campuses. Ultimately, our search on these sorts of projects is for an emotional center. The big idea of the building is really to have a hinge point between the old building that we adaptively reused and the new building, which flanks a football field. At that hinge point, you also have both entries for students. Students coming through the courtyard from the sidewalk and then students entering from getting dropped off from a vehicle. The overall design of the building had several factors influencing it. One was siting the building in relation to the football field and the soccer field. There's a long classroom building that had well over 300 feet of length, which so did the football field. So we try to engage those two with banked seating that uses the building as a backdrop. There is a rain barrel system that takes stormwater off the roof. That rainwater is used to irrigate for some tree plantings. There's a student garden planned out there. This is my first year at ITW. I is director of STEM education. The facilities here have been unbelievably helpful to teach whatever we can think of in regards to STEM to kids. Coaching is a big part of why I'm in education. I know the value of having good athletic, good extracurricular programs, and how that incentivizes student achievement. And to see a field turf field and know that it is there for our students always brings a smile on my face when I use these stairs in the morning. I love running now, and my best memory of ITW was when I first won first place at a track meet, and I was just like, I have worked in the network uh, for a long time. Without a doubt, ITW has set the bar for the type of assistance that most of our schools would absolutely love to have. Everybody's so excited about the school. The people power from ITW will be involved and they're so ready and willing and able to help the students here. The building's now completely animated with life. You have students in the gymnasium, the multi-purpose room, you have students on the field. Today you have students who have occupied and put their fingerprints all over the labs. It just makes it a special space.